Hey guys, we are at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Key West, Florida. Let's go inside and I'll give you a complete tour of everything in it. This is the skeleton of the Fiji Island mermaid. You can see the body of a fish and the skull that looks humanoid. A man by name of Barnum charged 25 cents per head to view this in 1842. Now, is it real? No, when he was about to die, Barnum revealed the secret. He had fused the skeletons of the upper half of a monkey with the lower half of a fish. This is the world's greatest hoax, by the way. Here is a human shrunken torso. The Hivero Indians of Ecuador were the only people on earth to have practiced the ancient craft of head shrinking. The heads of slain enemies were carefully preserved in a week-long ritual and shrunken to a quarter of their normal size. This shrunken torso was originally purchased in Panama by author Ernest Hemingway. Next is a Naga mask. The Nagas are a reptilian race who lived underground and their sculptures are found in many Asian countries. This mask was used to help exorcise evil spirits from people who were believed to be possessed. Robert Ripley bought this mask from the island of Sri Lanka in 1936. Here you can see a Native American ritual called Okipa practiced by a tribe called Mandan in North Dakota. There are three stages of self-mutilation in this ritual. Warriors were first hung from rafters with ropes attached by pegs inserted under their flesh. Buffalo skulls would be skewered to their legs to weigh them down. Their flesh would tear after a few minutes and they would fall. This is the West African hate god used as a voodoo doll to hex the enemies. The Kandas people of West Africa brought the sculpture into America in 1809 when they came in as black slaves. Nails would be inserted into the doll slowly, day by day, which is supposed to inflict painful mental and physical suffering on the enemy who would be tortured by an invisible spirit. Speaking of torture, the medieval Germans used a more direct technique to torture women who were unfaithful. This device called the Iron Maiden has 14 spikes that are aligned to pierce the ears, the throat, and the heart. The victims who were put inside were so mutilated by this device that it was often set on a drawbridge over water. The mangled body could then be released into water without having to be handled. Here's a coffin with a bell attached to it and you can even see it ringing. In the early 19th century, because of medical misdiagnosis, being buried alive by mistake occurred with alarming regularity. To prevent premature burials, coffins were designed with alarm bell attachments. If a quote-unquote dead body awoke within the coffin, the attached bell could be rung from inside the coffin to alert grave diggers or other passerby. This is where the phrase saved by the bell comes from. This is a model of a human unicorn who lived in Manchuria, China. His name was Wang and he had a 13-inch horn growing out the back of his head. He was a normal being in all other aspects and was photographed by Robert Ripley in 1931. What we see here is the Garuda's talon. Used throughout India, these fingernail daggers are often worn by a group called thuggies. This group gave rise to the English word thug. These guys would befriend innocent travelers and would then rip the throats off their victims from behind with one slash of these deadly talons. This is a rare example of erotica in the Ripley collection. 
This statue was actually worshipped by natives of New Guinea as a good luck fertility statue. This was acquired by Robert Ripley in 1932. Here we have the African Ibeji idols. The Yoruba people of Nigeria refer to twins as Ibeji. In this culture, twins are honored and worshipped as people with special powers. These two statues were kept by the twins' mother in the belief they can influence the work of the twins and bring prosperity to the entire family. The carved statues are honored regularly with offerings of food and are decorated with cowrie shell ropes. Believe it or not, the Yoruba give birth to the highest percentage of twins of any peoples in the world. How about a bat to the bone motorcycle? This is a unique motorcycle made entirely from the bones of dead animals. Most of the parts are from cows that died naturally, but the feature pieces like the alligator fender and seat and the turtle shell headlight were made from bones of roadkill found on Florida's country roads. Can a woman deliver a baby in her 40s? How about in her 50s or 60s? This woman by the name of Felipa Grijalpa in Colombia was married at the age of 100. She gave birth to a child at the age of 101. This was verified by military surgeon Robert Wesselhoff Jr. and she died at 120. Here is a necklace made entirely from interlocked snake vertebrae. The snake is one of the world's most universally feared animals and Indian warriors believed they could scare their enemies simply by wearing clothing and jewelry adorned with parts of snakes. The people of Tibet took these scary costumes one step further. This is the Tibetan human bone rugen made entirely of carved human bones. This was worn by Lamaist shamans when exercising demons and is believed to be possessed with the spirit of the deceased. Here we can see a beautifully painted 19th century cart called Karedi which is a Sicilian donkey cart. The finest workmanship on a Karedi is always on the axle where no one can see it without crawling underneath the cart. You can see the reflection on a mirror at the museum. Up next is a dance dress from New Guinea. This was worn by a chief during a 10-hour dance ceremony prior to a hunting expedition. The dress represents an evil forest spirit. In the same island, a tribe called Asaro wore these masks called mudman masks and believed that whoever wore this would become an invincible spirit. These masks have unusual designs like long or short ears either going down the chin or sticking up at the top, long joined eyebrows attached to the top of the ears, horns and sideways mouths. This is the astrological chart from the country of Nepal. The horoscope used in Nepal and Tibet dates the beginning of the world in 27th century BC. Based on a complex system with 12 animals and 5 elements, it is common practice to have horoscope cast by a shaman at the birth of each new child. These charts are then consulted and interpreted at important moments of the child's life such as puberty, seeking job, and prior to marriage. These are the Rama rice field statues from Thailand. The Hindu god Rama is associated with both fertility and protection in this country, believed to be able to protect crops while assuring a bountiful harvest. Statues of Rama are set in the ground at opposite ends of rice fields to act as divine scarecrows. Here is a strange artifact called the Indonesian demon table. Look carefully and you will learn that it is carved from a single tree root. 
In the Hindu pantheon, the demons are usually shown at the bottom, which are shown here as the legs of the table. It is unknown how the wood was dyed pink. Standing here is a modern-day giant, Robert Wadlow. He started his abnormal growth at age 2 following a double hernia operation and at age 8, Robert was already 6 feet tall. By the time he was 13, he was over 7 feet tall and considerably taller than his older brother. In 1940, at the age of 22, he had an arm span of 9.5 feet, wore size 37 AA shoes, weighed over 440 pounds and was 8 feet 11 inches tall. Finally, this is a demon mask from Bali, Indonesia. Brightly painted to terrify viewers, the mask features nine demon faces of importance to followers of the Hindu religion. This mask was not meant to be worn but rather to be hung from a doorway in order to prevent evil from entering. I hope you saw a lot of crazy stuff in this video. I'm finding a lot of intriguing places like this so please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.